Hey guys, looks like we're live. It's Bob Spiro here, cryptopreneurs for ML Loan Pros. I got a very exciting uh, show for you today. We're going to be doing a review of XRP. I don't know if you've heard about the Ripple SEC lawsuit or know anything about crypto, but I'm going to give you access to some resources and information. While I'm not a financial advisor, please don't take this as financial advice. Consider it entertainment or education you choose be sure to like and share this video if you found this information valuable interesting entertaining or whatever we appreciate your comments i read them all and uh let's get going here on tuesday afternoon first we're going to go over in case you don't know anything about ripple and s uh, and xrp uh it's been out for a number of years when it launched at point oh oh five six cents per coin it's currently trading at 85.94 cents 84 uh yeah 86 cents approximately so you're looking at from when it was initially launched to its current price 153 x i take that into consideration that's a 15 thousand percent gain to its current position in lieu of the fact that is under the gun, unjustly uh, prosecuted by the uh, SEC. Not my opinion. This is the opinion of legal counsel. I'll share with you how we know that. So this is a little closer. Uh, it's in one of the accounts that you can actually hold XRP in the US, bit true, and also uphold. But if we take a peek right here, and this wasn't so long ago, just a year ago today, 1231, here's 1220, eight um when xrp was trading at 23 cents a piece that's a year ago now where it's at is 85 cents so you're looking at a significant gain over the last 12 months but the most significant gains are going to happen in the next 12 to 24 months as it reaches its full potential and this is in lieu of the sec lawsuit it reached a high here about a dollar 80 um, back in april and then took a dive and made an adjustment. It's been chugging along uh, in lieu, like I said, of, of the uh, the imminent lawsuit. But let's take a peek here. Here's some of the announcements you have to understand. Swift explores the expansion of network into digital asset marketplaces. And XRP is one uh, with their ledger uh, is one of the resources that they're um, involved with. So that's a very promising future for this digital asset. Let's take a peek here uh, with Paul Barron, joins the US Faster Payments Council. Let's take a look and see what this uh, means. Despite regulatory pressure from the US SEP, SEC Ripple Senior Product Director has received one of the top positions on the US Faster Payments Council. That's the government researching and inviting us to come along on this journey because it will be the chosen one. It's my opinion. It's not to be taken as financial advice. Don't do anything without doing your own research, but here, do your due diligence. In his new role, Craig DeWitt will coordinate the council's activity in the field of cross-border payments. And he will study the prospects of central bank digital currencies, those are the CBCDs, and other advanced digital payment instruments in cross-border value transfer. In his announcement tweet, he said some big industry players, including Ripple involved, and there's more to come. So these are some of the resources that we employ to do our due diligence. And you can also Google um for information xrp also provides banks with the necessary liquidity hmm interesting this attributes this uh attributes of xrp further makes it a viable option for reserve currency for many banks many banks are associating with RippleNet and have the benefits of this crypto big banks like santander and bank de Foir are already using ripple it's, we call it Ripple. Here's the top 100 banks in the world. And you can Google this information yourself, but take a peek here. These are the banks that are using or have aligned themselves with Ripple in the top 100. 
the Mitsubishi Financial Group. There's too many to read them all here, but you'll have the links to these resources um, on this browser tab after this video gets published on my blog. But take a peek here. There's a significant number of the top 100 banks around the world, regardless of this lawsuit, already using Ripple. This is a clue, guys. All right. And it will tell the story about what will happen in the battle for dominance and cross-border payments. We already know Gary Gensler and the SEC is in trouble with major ripple uh, updates. There, there's improprietary that things that have happened as they hampered the growth of XRP in favor of the green pass they gave to Ethereum and Bitcoin, and they're being sued verily as we speak right now so this lawsuit's going to go away doesn't matter anyway because most of the business for xrp is international anyway but this will explode the entire marketplace you see ripple the leading provider of enterprise blockchain and crypto solutions for cross-border payments here's what here's a clue has partnered with the republic of palau all right they're going to be doing the digital currency with the cbcds and the banks in palau it's happening verily as we speak, unbelievable, it's huge news and it's coming out every single day here. Gary, uh, excuse me, uh, it's uh, Brad Garlinghouse, XRP to $50, breaking news, and when he predicts it to happen, 85 cents, 50 bucks, not a bad return. Here, Ripple, legendary Blackjack Pro predicts XRP price of $10,000. How could that be possible? Let's take a peek. In an interview with Forbes, John Narvin, Forbes, you ever heard of Forbes? Wind directed the conversation to Ripple's XRP, referring to the difference between XRP and other cryptos. The real estate businessman explained that XRP is designed for instant money transfer and tries to handle and tries to handle all the retail and international monetary transfers. Right now, it's a very inexpensive and very rapid solution for these financial institutions. So even if you took all of SWIFT with their $1.2 quadrillion dollars of, uh, of, of volume and divided it by the total XRP supply of 100 billion, that would give you a $10,000 valuation for XRP. Now, let's assume that only do 10% of that. My God, a $1,000 XRP is truly possible when you look at the facts. Let's take more information here. John Deaton represents me and all the XRP holders. There's, I don't know, 60,000, 70, 80,000 more people getting on this class action suit. We're suing the XRP, uh, we're suing the SEC for the, the suit against it, Ripple. And John Deaton is our counsel. And you can sign up for free right here, contact information for the class action lawsuit. We will be victorious. So breaking news, Sheila Williams makes a prediction for SR, uh, US and crypto for 2022. Forbes, XRP is to crypto what SWIFT is to banks. These are more clues, guys. So <laughs> do your due diligence. See how it feels to own some XRP. This is Dark Defender, not financial advice. This is just a possibility of what lies ahead after the lawsuit is released. We're down here at 80 90 cents a buck, and they're looking at $10,000 XRP by the fourth quarter of 2026. It's not going to go away. It's only going to get better over time. And I invite you to do your due diligence and research and join my Facebook group where I publish the latest in crypto breakthroughs and opportunities. And here's how you can explain. We have a video explaining the correlation that I just did for the $10,000 XRP exposed. Now, here's another notice about Brent Garlinghouse to say this about Ripple and XRP. Uh, it's just incredible to be so plugged in to what's going on here. 
and uh, become a real believer here. And I got another question for you. Rosie Rios. I don't know if you know who she is, but she's on the face of most money in printed money in the U.S. She's a former U.S. treasurer. Guess what? She's on the board of directors of Ripple. OK, I don't know if that's enough clue or proof for you. You can also use your Ripple right here through your uphold account to transact anything to anything. And here's one more thing before we close this video. XRP to $1,200. And this is published on my blog. And we invite you to get your questions answered, to do your due diligence, and then consider whether or not XRP makes sense to you. If you like this video, be sure to leave your comments, share it on social media, let people know what's going on, join our class action suit, and uh, we'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye for now.